Hi guys, welcome back to Care DIY. What? Today we are going over a Dollar Tree DIY featuring Dollar Tree slippers. So I took some slippers from Dollar Tree and I used my Cricut Maker and I made this beautiful design. And I'm going to show you how you can do it today. So it was really simple and the steps will be outlined perfectly. So if you have a Cricut Maker, you'll be able to follow along perfectly. So, let's not wait any longer guys, let's DIY. So you'll want to pull up your Cricut Design Space and you'll want to upload and insert the image. This image I got from Pinterest as a free download. From there, you'll want to size, resize the image to, according to the size of the slipper. I made mine 3.5 so that it will fit perfectly across the front of the slipper. And once you resize it, you'll want to start taking out the parts that you won't need for each cut. I took out the, three, the dreams part first, and then um, you'll want to click make it. And you want to make sure that you mirror each image because this is an iron-on. So you want to make sure that the image comes out right way, if that makes sense. So from there, you just want to make sure your machine is connected and then you want to make sure you load and click everyday iron on and then from there you will want to make sure that you have the right tool which this tool will be the fine print blade then you can decide if you want to use a fast mode or not sometimes I do sometimes I don't it just depends on the cut for this one I won't use the fast mode because I want to make sure that the cut is perfect once you have that first word cut, you want to go back to the design space and you want to put back in dreams and you want to take out the word sweet and you will then go to make it. Don't make the mistake that I made and forget to attach the design because the words will come out scrambled. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight the image and I'm going to go down, go down below and click attach and then go back up to make it. And as you'll see, once you mirror it, it will come out as the word in its right order, but backwards so that when it prints, it will come out the right way. You want to make sure your machine is again still connected and you want to follow the steps from before. Click Everyday Iron On, make sure that you have the right tool, and again, you can decide if you want to use the fast mode or not. This is the easier part, the weed-in part. I use the weed-in tool that Cricut um, supplies and I will go in and take out the excess vinyl around the word. Make sure you go in and take out all the little pieces in between because those pieces will mess up the design if you forget to take those out. I find it's easier if you leave the cut on the mat as you're taking it apart so that you don't accidentally rip out the words that are supposed to still be in the design. You will want to align up the words before you do the iron on just to make sure that they're aligned perfectly and that they're symmetrical. And once you have the design the way you want them, you'll be able to iron it on. I did go back and add in the little moon um, with a different vinyl once I, after I cut it out, I decided to use a different one. So I went back into the design space and just did the individual star and the moon in black vinyl. From there, you can just honestly place it on there and because the other part is sticky, it'll stick fine. I cut off the access so that it didn't catch onto the iron um, underneath and burn the iron or the iron burn that whatever way. I just cut off the access. I put um, a parchment paper on top so that um, it didn't burn too fast over the design since I was using an iron and not an easy press but it's all still the same. Even if you don't have an easy press, you can use an iron and it'll all come out the same. If you have the easy press, it's a little bit easier as in the name easy press, but the iron works just the same. I held the iron on there about 30 seconds or so, and I just went over the design a couple times just to make sure that the vinyl stuck pretty well. And 
just made it a little bit easier for when I took off the parchment and when I took off the plastic part of the vinyl to make sure the design was stuck perfectly. tutorial I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial I hope that you try this tutorial if you do try this tutorial please tag me at pound sign care DIY what so I can see your beautiful creations if you liked what you saw please don't forget to like comment subscribe and also tell me down below what other things you want to see with the Cricut if you like the video that you just saw here's another one click on this video so you can see the next tutorial that I did thanks for watching see you next week